encourage God. So continue to give unto God. So I want to just tell you, go ahead and, I already get my message, but go ahead and give if you have to give. And then we're going to ask, a, um, let's see here, somebody to pray over the offering for us. Uh, let's see here. Drew, will you? Okay, thank you. And um, Drew, will you stand up and pray over the offering today? Bless us in your prayers. Amen. Dear Father God, just thank you for bringing us together, Lord, through this crisis that we're having in our world. Thank you that we are not worldly like the world, Lord. Thank you that we are saved under your blood, Lord. Thank you for protecting our finances, Lord. Thank you for protecting our homes, our house, our cars. Thank you for protecting our families, Lord. Thank you for protecting our children, Lord. Thank you for protecting our jobs, Lord. Thank you for protecting our world, Lord, in general. Thank you for everything that you've done and provided for us and that what you will provide for us in the future through you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, if you haven't got the hint, my message, if you're writing it down, if you want to take notes or anything, it's called Acknowledge Him by Faith. If, if you would like children, young people, young young children, go ahead and go to class, please. <laughs> and um, be on your best behavior. So if you want to go to, with me to Psalm 91, if you have a Bible or you have electronics, let me just tell you right now, acknowledging God is the best thing to do. Go to Psalm 91, and you're going to go to number 14. See, God said that when we acknowledge him, he will be our shield and our buckler. He will be our protector. So when you acknowledge him, that is part of coming to church. You acknowledge him when you wake. You acknowledge him when you eat. You say, thank you for this food and bless it. That's everybody here, amen? amen? So when you acknowledge him, you acknowledge him in all your ways, in everything. So is somebody there? Psalms 91, 14? Amen. Read it, amen? The Lord says, if someone trusts me, I will save them. I will protect my followers who call me for help. And I have the NIV version. Because he says, I will rescue you. I will protect you. For he acknowledges my name. Jesus, he said to acknowledge my name. I know that there's a lot of different versions out there. Some say call. Some say acknowledge. But you know, when you look up the word acknowledge, it just means that to accept and to admit the existence of truth of. If somebody say no and know who truth is and what truth is, who is truth? Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. 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 That is truth. And so when you acknowledge, you're saying that you accept his truth, that you admit his truth. So what does that mean? That you walk in his ways, that you will accept him, that you will say, you know what? No, nothing that is happening right now is going to uh, penetrate my life, is going to make me change. Instead, it's going to make me go closer to God, acknowledge God, accept God, and admit God. Somebody say amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus is truth. Jesus exists. Jesus is alive. Jesus is the protector. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the provider. Jesus is the king. Amen. Jesus is the amen. master. Jesus is the, fi and the finisher and the author of our amen. faith. Somebody say amen. amen. See, faith is the substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So let me tell you something. If we don't get together and we don't acknowledge God, then we are not hearing and hearing by the word of God, then faith cannot come. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because Jesus is faith. Amen. Jesus is the healer. Jesus Amen. is a, is everything, the Amen. all in all. Amen. You acknowledge him when you attend church. Amen. You acknowledge him when you pray. Amen. You acknowledge him and you admit that he exists, that he's alive, that he is the overcomer, that he overcome the grave, that he rose and he is the truth and the life and the way. And no one comes to the Father except by Jesus. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Can somebody say faith? faith? See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's impossible.
impossible to please him. And let me tell you something. Go to Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah 32. Because nothing is impossible for God. Do you think that this thing that came in the old days, in the Bible days, in the 1980s, in the 1990s, and the 1800s, whatever it was, that this has not happened already? That the government, they know everything that's going on. But we serve a government that is greater and higher than our government here. And that is the kingdom of the Heavenly Father that came and brought Jesus Christ so that we can live and live abundantly on this earth, not just to get to heaven, but on this earth in life, in truth. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Did we get to Jeremiah 32? Amen. Number 17, somebody. Somebody with a loud trumpet. And the word of God says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Amen. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. You think what's going on right now is too hard for the Lord? You think getting a job for you is too hard for the Lord? God can bring anything out of nothing. Because he made sure that Jesus Christ came. That he was going to be the Savior. He's going to be the Master. He's going to be the King of Kings. He's going to be the government over the heavens. He is the greatest King ever. He is the one that we reverence. He is the one that we obey in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not saying disrespect the government of the United States or any around the world. But I'm saying that there's a power greater than that. And it is in Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. And I can guarantee you because he, nothing is too hard for the Lord. As it says in the scripture, when we say, no, nothing is too hard for the Lord. Everything is possible with God. Then everything is. Somebody say amen. amen. Is it? Yes. Everything is possible for God. Amen. Go to Proverbs 3, 6. Proverbs, amen, hallelujah. When we get challenged in our life, when we get challenged in our faith, when we get challenged in our world, when we get challenged in our government, when we get challenged in our finances, when we get challenged in our health, when we get challenged in our relationships, there's an answer, and his name is Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Proverbs 3, 6. Chris, will you read that for me in real loud voice? Again. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Somebody else. Desiree. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Okay, I need somebody else to say the version. I, I have a, Anybody have a, a different version? Marcos. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Again, louder. In all, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Again. Acknowledge him. Yes, I like you say it again and again. Because what are we doing today? We are acknowledging him. Somebody say amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. We're going to acknowledge him in spirit and in truth. Not just, okay, we're going to stay at our house and watch it on TV. Anybody can do that. That's yeah. easy. But God said that when we have faith and we can see the invisible because it's in the substance that is Jesus Christ, I can see him. I know him. I know he's right here with us because it says we're three or more gathered, two or more gathered. He is right here in the midst. Somebody say amen. Amen. That's why they want to stop it. That's why they want to try so hard. But all of a sudden, everybody's scared when it says, fear not for I am your God. Do not dismay for I am with you. Come on now, then, then it's alive then. Everything in the Bible is alive then. And it's not. Because I know God. And I know Jesus. Like I know that he is there for you. He is there for me. Somebody say amen. amen. Acknowledge. Philippians 2.11. Let's go to Philippians. That's in the New Testament. Let's go to Philippians. <laughs> We are acknowledging him today, but by faith we will acknowledge him. If somebody gets there in the name of Jesus, Drew, when you get there, you read it, please. Uh, did I tell you the chapter 2? 11. Eleven. 
We acknowledge him with our hearts, with our mouths, by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. But we know that we know that we know Jesus exists. Amen. You ready? And everyone will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and bring glory to, the, to God the Father. Amen. Amen. So we confess. By acknowledging him, you come to church. You try to come on time. You try to come and bring somebody with you. Amen? You try. I know it's hard. I've been, I've been reaching out to people and saying, you know what? In faith, come to church. In faith, God will protect you. It says that he is our shield. He is our protector. He will. When we acknowledge him, he will protect us. So we're admitting and we're saying that he exists and that he is the truth. Somebody say he is the truth. There is no one like Jesus Christ. Amen. No one can help you like Jesus Christ. Amen. No one can love you like Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. No one can pull you out of the fire like Jesus Christ. Amen. No one can provide for you like Jesus Christ. Amen. No one can heal you like Jesus Christ. Amen. By faith, though. See, once we have faith, after you believe, you will see. And it's intense. Faith can be intense because it asks for something. You know what faith asks for? Faith asks for you to take a risk. Will you take that risk? That's what faith is. It's intense. It's like, oh, what? It's like those football players that get ready. They're like, oh, and they have to pump themselves up. Or somebody who's going to get ready to go into wrestling, they hit their head and they go, and they hit their head real hard and they go like this, you know, like, tch, 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 you know, to get themselves pumped up or whatever a person is going to get ready to do, fighters, boxers, they do something to make it intense. Well, you know what? Our faith is not going to come easy. It isn't, oh, I'm just going to go to church today. No, say, I'm going to church today and I'm going to meet him there. I, you know, I got up this morning saying, you know what? No, Jesus, today something's going to happen. I don't know what it is, but it's going to happen. I'm going to be intense about this faith. This God that gives us faith. Count God's faith. Somebody say amen. Amen. Faith is for today. It never fades. Amen. Let's go to Romans 10.9. We're acknowledging God right now. We're acknowledging the life and giving God who has given us everything. That we will not boast, but that we have salvation. Amen. And no one shall boast on that because it is a free gift. Amen. Uh, Romans 10, 9. And Andrew back there. Give everybody a chance. That if thou, if thou shalt confess with thou mouth and thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, shall, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. And let's give a clap offering to the Lord. As we are acknowledging with our mouth to confess Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. It's an intense thing with faith. It's not an easy thing because you got to pump yourself up and say, no, I believe. Even though everybody else is running, even everybody else is hiding, everybody else is in fear, we will say we will not fear, we will not be sick, we will not have any trouble because we acknowledge God today. Somebody say amen. Amen. Faith also helps us. Helps you. I put in my note. Helps you. Somebody say me. me. Somebody say me. me. It helps you. Faith helps you. God gives us faith, his faith. Let's go to Matthew 10, 32. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. See, we ain't going to get nowhere without the word of God. So it doesn't matter if I stood up here and I started singing lullabies, I started giving rhymes, I started doing anything like that. It doesn't matter if I said, get out of here, you disease, get out of that, that thing or that challenge or that circumstance is going to look me in the face and say, I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going to listen to you. Who do you think you are? In the Bible, there was a time and they started trying to cast out demons. The demons said, who are thee? And they kicked their butts and made them naked and kicked them to the ground. Amen. But I said, 
say, I shall say unto the Lord, I will not fear, for God is with me. Amen. That, that fear cannot get on you, because that's what's really out there. It's not, because you know how many people have the flu out there, but they don't put it on the news. How many people die of natural causes, they don't put it on the news. Because it's just a tactic for the devil to use fear to make us afraid. But this has been happening time from time to time. There's nothing new under the sun. That's what God said. Amen? Amen. Did we get there? 10.32. Cru uh, uh, Cruz, did you read yet? 10.32. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Therefore, whoever acknowledges... I like her version because what are we talking about today? Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Acknowledge him. And that's what we're doing today by gathering together in his name. Amen? Amen. In his name. We're not doing it out of disrespect. We're doing it in what's important to us. Jesus is important to us. The word of God is important to us. Praise is important to us. Worship is important to us. Amen. Gathering together in his name is important. To us, let me say amen. amen. And he guarantees to protect us and be our shield, be our buckler, be our protector because we acknowledge him. So they say amen. amen. Let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse 8. Amen. Amen. Elisa, have you read yet? Oh, I have my Bible. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see who hasn't read yet. Pastor Ray, you read. Do you have your Bible? Uh, Luke chapter 12, Verse 8. I tell you, whoever publicly acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge me before the angel of God. Amen. Amen. Close your Bibles. We went through all the acknowledgments of God, of Jesus Christ, in our Bibles today. And let me tell you something about acknowledgment. When I looked up the definition in the dictionary, it means to accept or admit the existence of a truth of. But truth is not overrated because truth is what the Bible says. So if one thing, Jesus Christ came to give us life and life more abundantly, that is truth. Are you going to believe it or are you going to deny it? There's only one way. You can't be on both sides. Well, maybe because that's going to have you open to other things that are going to come to you. But when you say, no, I acknowledge the truth of Jesus Christ, that he is the Lord, he is my Savior, he came and died, and he was buried, and he rose again, and he lifted up, and he exists, and he is truth, and he is life, and he is more, gives it to us more abundantly. Somebody say amen. Amen. <coughs> Uh, 
um, disrespect any of them, but I'm saying that I choose to believe on Jesus Christ because he didn't have to show himself real to me, but he did. And he will show himself real to you when you believe, when you have faith, when you know that he exists, when you know that he is truth. When you know this. So I said, pray for your food at, at school. Renee says, well, you could pray in your head. And I said, well, wait a minute. Doesn't the Bible say that when we acknowledge him, he acknowledges us in front of the Father, just like that said? And he was like, oh, yeah, huh? Well, you know, we can just pray. Do not be ashamed, for I won't be ashamed of you. That's what God says. And that's what we're doing today is we're saying, you know what? We're not being disrespectful. We're just saying, you know what? We believe God's word so much that we're going to come together and we're going to acknowledge him and we're going to gather together in his name and we're not going to be ashamed of him. We're not going to be embarrassed of him because we're all going to stand in front of him one day and he's going to say, what did you do? When the plague came, when the finances ran out, I still was there for you. I still am here for you. He does not ever run Ever. It says, is anything so hard for the Lord, somebody? No. no. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. And nothing is impossible to God. Amen? There is nothing impossible to God. He is the healer. He is the provider. He is the master. He is the king of king. And he is the king of the best kingdom there is. Amen? That's the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Amen. But it says, I'm kingdom come to this earth does it not so why do we always just worry about our salvation getting to heaven but we can enjoy this life here on this earth amen until the day we all reach jesus christ amen, amen. you know the um the spirit that's out there is not just fear there is a spirit of death and let me tell you something about death it talks real loud and it takes advantage of this moment in time that we're experiencing here. And it says, you're going to die. And if you don't, somebody you know is going to die. And you know what? But you know, because it was coming to me. Oh, we need to do this or that. That wasn't me. I got way too many things to think about than to think about preparing for some for something that's not even going to come. That it's the lying devil trying to come in our minds to say, no, you know what? The scripture come to me that I stand on because it would try to kill me so many times. The devil had tried to kill me so many times that I stood on the scripture. I will live and not die and proclaim the works of the Lord. Somebody say amen. See, when things come to you, I can't do, I can't, wait a minute, can't should not even be in our vocabulary. Somebody say, I can do all things. Amen. Say, I can do all things. Can do all things. Through, Christ, Through Christ, who strengthens me, strengthens me. By, faith. by faith. And faith is, faith is. the substance
We're going to say a prayer, but I, I, want, I want to just wait on Jesus right now. So everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't have to stand up or anything because I'm not done yet. I want Jesus to do what he wants to do because I want to explain to you faith is a substance of things hoped for. I want you to close your eyes and in the mind of your eye where faith comes because it's a substance and it's real. Acknowledge what's in your mind right now because faith doesn't come from your mind. Faith comes from your spirit, your heart. It is not in your mind. It is in your heart. And the Lord will reveal to us what's in our heart. Let your hands go open. Do not close them. Just open them. Relax them, but open them. As a sign of faith that God is going to touch you. That God is going to He's going to heal you. That God is going to reveal himself to you. That God, he exists. That God, he is the truth. That God, he is the ultimate savior. He is the ultimate provider. He is the ultimate healer. God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in this place. And by faith, we acknowledge you. We take uh, authority right now in the mighty name of Jesus over our minds. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke anything that's been on our minds, trying to discourage us, trying to take or take us back in the mighty name of Jesus, but instead, get off our minds in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. By faith in the name of Jesus. Just stay right there because faith comes out of the heart, not out of our mind. Hope is in our mind. We hope that things are getting better. We hope that everything's going to fall into place. But you know what? By faith, we see it in our hearts. In our mind, we just say we hope. But in faith, we acknowledge it in our heart. By faith, see it. Everything is done and over. All the jobs restored. All the finances back. All the people getting saying we're healed. Start seeing reports of godliness. Reports of God sent salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Just see it in your mind's eye. You're working. You're going back into your bank. You're going back and, and putting those funds in there. Going back and giving 110%. Because you know what? When you go through an adversary in a circumstance, it will make you stronger. Don't be afraid. Just stand. Jesus said, just stand. When, you don't can't, when you've done everything else, just stand. See it in your eye, in your heart by faith right now that you're standing in Jesus. Now take a deep breath because we've been under a lot of stress. Let that stress out. Don't leave the same. Don't leave discouraged. I rebuke discouragement from the world on our minds. I rebuke it on our, from our backs, from our necks, from our lower backs, from our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, take a deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out of your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command discouragement. Get away from us in Jesus' name. We are gathering together in his name. We are acknowledging him. So get away from our families. Get away from our household. Get away from us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you. We acknowledge you. In all our ways and our paths will be straight. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, you could open your eyes. We're still not done yet. Because we're going to pray. Okay? I'm going to want to talk to the Lord on your behalf. And I'm going to just let you know that when we come together and we acknowledge him, he is in this place. He is in the presence of our enemies. He's going to say, you know what? Nobody can touch you. No one can harm you. No one can contest you. Nobody, because I am the Lord and I am your refuge. I am your protector. I am your healer. And I will deliver you. Somebody say amen. amen. All right, let's stand if you can. Let's stand for a minute. You don't have to close your eyes. 
but just open yourself up to Jesus Christ because he wants to touch you. He wants to heal you. He wants to provide for you, but we're going to do it by faith because it's impossible. To, nothing is impossible with God, and we want to please him by faith. Somebody say amen. amen. So just stand. Be patient with the 